Hi, I'm Cassie from Alkaway. We believe there is no one way to good health. There is only the whole way. The pillar supporting our best health are hydration, nutrition, detoxification and exercise. Today, I'm talking to Brett Hayes, one of our pillar partners, who is a great example of the whole way to the best health. Hello, I'm Cassie from Alkaway. I'm talking to Brett Hayes today. He has a, <laughs> he has a site called Vitality Plus Australia. Dot com. <laughs> I first saw uh, this amazingly um, energetic and charismatic man on the video that we watched, uh, and you were talking all about juicing. How to make a green drink yeah, using the kale, beautiful. using the chlorophyll, dandelion, clean the liver. Regenerate the body. Yeah. It was very inspiring. But anyway, so today um, I just want to talk to you about what's really exciting for you and is, you know, like I know that you're writing to our community. Is there anything you could tell us about what your experience and how it works in the body and, and um, how you feel about it and, and, and perhaps your story about how you work uh, the alkalinity and, and what it's done for you? I wouldn't quite say alkalinity because I'm not quite, right. I mean, I'm not really right into the alkalinity because okay. to me it doesn't make sense mm -hmm. it's like if I look at the alkaline acid food charts I go that doesn't make sense right, yeah. and for me it just doesn't make sense because I look at every cell in the body as being a battery right. we are little batteries like you know the have you ever heard the old adage that the creator is the director the body is the costume the soul is the actor the world is the stage and it's like so I'm a simple sort of soul who works on those levels but if I look at the cell I know the cell is a battery, so if, my, if I disintegrate, I know it's because my cell's disintegrating. Mm -hmm. If I go look in a battery in a car, just a simple car, car battery, and if I know my cell is not charging, mm -hmm. my battery's not being charged, if I wake up tired, if I wake up and I haven't got that explosive energy to go, to go dance, to go pick up the kids, to go hard, I haven't got that energy, mm -hmm. I know there's something going on with my power source, so, so I've got to look at power. Mm -hmm. Most of us would just look at the battery and fill it up with water. Yeah. Hence, alkaline, more alkaline. Uh -huh. But now doesn't, it doesn't go there. Once the cell becomes dehydrated, so once the actual, just imagine your battery's got this, these lead plates in it, and it's got an electrolyte in the bottom and it's got water on the top. Mm -hmm. If I lose my water and I become dehydrated, most of us will think all we've got to do is alkaline, alkaline, fill it up with water because water is alkaline. Yeah, yeah. Some water is alkaline. Most, if you're, if you're going to be drinking good water, drink alkaline water though. <laughs> the, what we don't take into account though is that the very electrolyte, the acid, has eaten into the cell. And as anything goes, you eat something, you're going to have a waste product. Right. So when you've got a waste product, your cell is not only dealing with the acid eating into the cell or eating into the plates or eating whatever, however you want to call it, mm -hmm. plus you've got a waste. So when you refill it with water, all you're doing is diluting the waste and diluting the acid because the acid's not as strong as it used to be because it's become dehydrated. The balance is gone. Mm -hmm. So for me, oranges, I mean, they say oranges are acidic. Yeah. Well, man, oranges, um, there's so many acidic foods that are so beneficial to the human system. Yes. And, and it's not about just eating all acid foods, it's not about eating all alkaline foods. What it is, is eating a balanced Balance. approach. Mm -hmm. And the most important thing that you can really do for your alkaline, to maintain an alkaline um, state in your body, yes. is chew your food. Right. We don't understand the four pillars. Now, I, I work on four pillars. I work on four pillars of hydration, mm -hmm. detoxification, right. nutrition, mm -hmm and then fitness. Right. Hydration is UNO number one. Right. UNO number one. Why is hydration UNO number one? The body's made of? Water. Water, predominantly water. That's right. For you to move any waste out of your body, to detoxify your body, our body, your body, what do you require? How are the four channels of excretion on the body? Mm -hmm. You've got breath, mm -hmm. you've got perspiration, mm -hmm. you've got urination, you've got defecation. What do they all require? Well, maybe lubrication. <laughs> water. So water's number one. Now you can bring in all of the greatest nutrition you like in your life. You can eat the best food. You can eat this. You can eat that. But let's just say you happen to live in Sydney, Melbourne, New York, anywhere where the... Have you ever used um, showered in New York water? 
No. Oh my God, the burning of the eyes. I'm like, the Americans go, I don't understand what you're talking about. And you can barely, this, the, the water amazing? is so acidic. Wow. But the, so if you're dealing with nutrition and you're still bringing all this nutrition and you've got toxins in your system, mm -hmm. you may have mercury fillings, you may have lead, you may be a plumber, you may be a mechanic, you may sit next to work, work next to a power station. Yes. All of the nutrition in the world isn't going to move mm -hmm. those metals out, those toxins out. Yeah. So you require water, yes. first and foremost. Fitness. You find fitness, and all of us, we're getting a little bit full, we're getting bellies, we're getting this, we're getting fat, whatever we're getting. And all of us go, oh, that's, that's the body's fat, we don't like the body, I don't like me, I don't like my image. Mm -hmm. Have we ever possibly thought that the very fat is saving your life? Yeah, exactly. Toxins get stored in the fat first. Yes. Why the fat? Because fat is the most available energy source there is to the human body. Mm -hmm. Fat, fat, fat. I'm not talking about like you know, just eating all the bad fats, like you know, you're, you're eating chips and eating trans and right. eating this and all those terms. I'm talking about avocados, nuts, you yeah. know, the good fats, yeah, sesame yeah. seeds, put a little bit of sesame seeds in there. Coconut oil. Coconut oil, God bless the coconut oil. <laughs> the, um, all these fats that are so beneficial, but the toxins get stored in fat. Mm -hmm. The toxins also get stored because in become, bone. It's the only place that the body knows to keep it, to, to keep it safe, away from the organs, the vital organs. The vital organs, the very essence of livingness, so the body always protects the vital organs. That's the organs. amazing thing about the body. It will do everything, won't it, in order yes. to survive. Yes. Even if it has to actually compromise all sorts of other parts of your body, mm. it will do anything to survive. I've heard stories of where they've, um, like, you know, the body is dying mm -hmm. and every part of the body shuts down via the brain. Yeah. Keeps the brain but alive. But it keeps the brain alive. Keep the brain alive in the oil pump. Yeah. The heart. Isn't that incredible? It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing. It's a but that's a good organ. point. I mean, the whole alkalinity is because a lot of us feel that we um, we disintegrate through disease. Mm -hmm. We may die of cancer, tuberculosis, we may have syphilitic conditions. Mm -hmm. The body doesn't die because of any disease. No, I agree with that one. The body dies because there's no power in the kidneys or the kidney chi is the Chinese will term. There's no power to pump the oil pump. Mm -hmm. That's why the body dies. So that's it's sort of for me that alkalinity sort of bit of keeping the body hydrated alkaline yeah. is to stabilize also the kidney function yeah. the great homeopathic medicine and as you thought the how, how important it was with electrolytes and, and and the fact that the water is a negatively charged um entity if you can call it like that and that 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 negative charge has an effect on the body that's like an antioxidant and as an antioxidant it is actually part of nutrition in the sense that it's actually charging the cell it's bringing the negative um, charge to the cell, which the cell also needs, in order to be able to do its beautiful mi mitochondrial function mm. in the body. Yeah, I look at that. I like, it. I like the way you say that negative charge. I don't actually look at it quite negative. <laughs> like, I don't. Like, you know, I, I would always. I take everything down to the um, uh, the polarity aspect. Mm -hmm. um, the positive and negative, mother, father, boy, girl, and all of that. And it's, it's interesting when you deal uh -oh. with hydration. <laughs> no, it is. Because if you look at water, and you go, well, water is made of, predominantly, H2O. Mm -hmm. Two parts hydrogen ions, mm -hmm. one part oxygen. Mm -hmm. If you look at oxygen as being the father aspect, and hydrogen as being the mother aspect, yes. you generally need two females to carry the father. Right. What happens when the, when the male gets sick? Who looks after the male? The woman. The woman. <laughs> Who looks after the woman when the woman gets sick? The woman. The woman. <laughs> so it's a, it's a real, our part of our alkalinity is to get those hydrogen ions in. Mm -hmm. And that's why who, the, the, the great intelligence that created the earth created hydrogen ions. So the water content of raw, you know, the, old, the, the big thing about raw foods and all of that now. It's like big raw food diets and all right, of that. Right, If you get um, diagnosed with any um, major illness, and you go to a, uh, the, the world's most reputed healing centres, the chances are they're going to put you on a raw food diet right, for a while. Right, yeah. And they go, oh, it's all the phytonutrients, it's they all the vitamins and minerals, it's all of this. Well, I say, oh, it could just be the hydrogen ions. Because right. the water content of raw fruit and raw Beautiful. vegetable is hydrogen right. iron rich. Beautiful. Who gives birth to the humans? The woman. The mother. The mother. Hydrogen. Right. If you look at, and uh, there's, a, there's an interesting product, and I don't want to go into like, you know, selling anything, this is just, you know, but if you look at an interesting video about the mega hydrates where they check hydrogen ion supplementation, mm -hmm. and they give hydrogen ions to, they, they show it on the hemoglobin, blood uh, black analysis, like, you know, blood analysis mm -hmm. on a screen, 
and they take all these hydrogen ions and you see all the red blood cells going pop, 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 pop. Yeah. Once a red blood cell becomes stuck and coagulated together, it cannot transport oxygen. It becomes a t it, they become transporters of toxins. Right. So for you to get oxygen, because no disease can live in an oxygenated state, mm -hmm. we know that if we're going to transport oxygen, we must have all our haemoglobins, our red blood cells going, all being free little swimmers, right. so they can transport oxygen. Right. That would probably be the one of the, the fundamental reason for looking at alkalinity in the body. Mm -hmm. Not for gaining all of this or gaining all of that or getting this, that getting that. Really good. Yeah. It's more about like transporting that. oxygen mm -hmm. or the father energy or the spirit energy yeah. around our bodies to vitalize so ourselves. Brett, um, can you tell me a little bit about your story? Because you, know, I just, you just told me that you yeah. started this when you were 12. Oh, no, I started when I was seven. Started when you were seven. Yes. Can you tell yeah. us a little bit about um, at the age of seven, my, uh, my favourite books were Phantom Comics, <laughs> Phantom's Quick, oh, Phantom's Quick, Tiger Strong, Lion Strong, Phantom Quicker, Phantom Stronger. So I used to love Phantom. You look a bit like Phantom. Yeah. <laughs> like like and the, um, the other book I had in my thing was Hate Encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. I studied human anatomy from the age of seven. So I used to like hate and the human body. I used to have a if you, I don't know whether you know the old pages, they were, there was a skeletal system, the vascular system, the, mus the, the, the muscular yeah. system, the venous system. The, Fascinating. The, and I, I, used to, it too. So I studied it yeah. from seven. Mm -hmm. So I've never had to learn it. No. I absorbed it. Yeah. So studied, um, so absorbed the, absorbed the aspect of the human body anatomically on a physical gross level. Yeah. At the age of 12, I, um, and it's, it's great for me, um, I've got a little couple of love aspects that I looked at. After, when I was 12, I didn't quite understand, but I started a vegetarian lifestyle at the age of 12. Mm -hmm. Only because I did grow up in a quite a, a violent household. Okay. There was alcohol, there was disintegrating marriages, okay. there was a lot of abuse within the siblings. There was, so I was a damaged soul. Yeah. So I, for me, I needed to move myself away from what I consider war. Mm -hmm. So I became, and just killing, killing animals, that's, for me it's just war. So I was very fanatical on that level, right. as you do when you're a, um, a, young, a young man. Mm -hmm. And um, I separated myself from a lot of people, a lot of family, a lot of this, a lot of that. Just my differing views. But it's funny, uh, everything that I learned then, I wouldn't do again now, but it's helped me immensely understand why yeah. I've made those choices. Yeah. I think that's, it's just, that's the, the, the wonderful learning that you get from experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are the, what's the old esoteric thing? Through physical suffering comes the awakening of the soul. That's so true. Let's suffer and gain <laughs> knowledge, people. It's unfortunately. Suffer, little children. <laughs> and so, um, uh, finishing school, I really wasn't mature enough to really leave school and get a job. Mm -hmm. So I was very blessed to have my mother knew someone who fixed me up straight away into an electrical apprenticeship. Uh -huh. um, so I started learning about electricity. But being a young man, so I could just let me just go back two years. At the age of 14, I started playing with engines. Mm -hmm. So I started using, um, I used to like the old HKs, HGs, HT Kingswoods, because they were in my price range. Mm -hmm. But I used to like the V8s. Mm -hmm. You wanted to be the V8s. Nice and... I didn't understand why, but I do now. Ah. A V8 is an opposing centers left upon right, left upon right. Mm -hmm. So studied, um, studying V8 engines and then studying electricity, I learned how the physical body worked, both physically, so I absorbed it from the age of seven, all the organs. I learned how an organic engine works, like a, a, an engine. Mm -hmm. So when I dealt with the heart, I, you meant, did you notice I called it the oil pump? Mm -hmm. That's right. The kidneys, mm -hmm. the thermostat. Right. The stomach is the petrol tank, the liver is the coil, the spleen is the oil filter, the lungs wrong, are the wrong. carburetor, <laughs> the small intestine is the inlet manifold, the large, in, the large intestine is the exhaust manifold. So I looked at things a little bit differently. Being a lover of um, humanity, I used to like helping people heal as well because I've been through so much damage. Yes. So um, I was always very good at fixing bodies like a... I did a, um, I'm good at fixing bodies. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they call me a myotherapist. Oh, Myo know. is Greek for muscle and a little funny thing, therapist is the rapist. But anyway, oh, we won't go there. No, we won't go no, there. We won't go no, there. Really 
Um, <laughs> so the, um, I used to live with a bloke who was in a band, mm -hmm. and he came up and he came up to where I lived, and his manager had a big headache, and he said you ought to let Brett have a look at it. Mm -hmm. So I just did some work on on his neck, mm -hmm. paid me fifty dollars. Oh, beautiful! I just finished my trade. 60 hours for $160. I worked for an hour on this bloke and he gave me $50. This is a good deal. I went, whoa. <laughs> what I didn't know was that he was the manager of um, some elite sportsmen. And so from there, after treating him, I suddenly became known to elite sportsmen. And, oh. and, and, and that was my background for 15 years, just, just dealing with the elite elite yeah. of elite, like Lamborghinis. Mm -hmm. and, and from there... Um, I, I got in contact with companies and then from relationships, um, as, as relationships do go, I got asked to do what I do within the community and so now I teach grandmas, mothers, children and I don't, I'm not wholly and solely, but that's my story. It's like, yeah. so, I've got a, a big... so with your own health, you know, is, is your body just been like a big eight? No, no. I've, um, uh, cardiomyopathy at the age of 18, hepatitis at the age of 17, um, septicemia, I was clinically dead once, I got brought back to life, praise be the goodness, from the Gold Coast Hospital, I was gone, I was dead, I was out of my body for eight years, right. eight, eight, eight hours, nine hours, right. uh, it took me a long, long time to recover, I've broken my back, I've been paralysed, I broke my back up at a centre. Oh wow, you broke um, your back? Yeah, broke my back, popped, wow. the, popped two discs, cracked L4 right down the middle, had no feeling, it was an intense. You gain great knowledge suffering, I tell you. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it to everyone. <laughs> but, on, but on hindsight, you know, you look at it and you go, well, would you do it again? No, no, please, 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 no. But if you, if you, if you can see what you're going to get, mm -hmm. if you do the work, mm -hmm. and as Kayul Gibran would say, work is only love made visible. If you do the love, be involved in the love, do that, you gain great knowledge. Yeah, it's like you're, you know? you're, you're saying, okay, well, here I am, I've got, to, I've got to deal with this, so I do it the best way I can, which is to completely embrace it and, and mm. go with it, basically. And hope there's a lot of people out there with knowledge who can help me. Yeah, you meet the right people. Because I didn't have the knowledge. It takes a long time to gain the knowledge. It, it took me... To, and to meet the ones that you really do, the people that you really do need. Yes. yes. Yes, yes, it took me many years and I hear lots of people saying there's quick fixes to this on the human body and there's quick fixes to that. Well, not in my experience. <laughs> you know, it's a... It's, it's a, it's a long-going long going process. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I, think, I think one of the hardest things that you can do with someone is you can give someone a program. We're going to give you this program right here and right now. And then right everything's now. going to be okay. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Well, I say maybe not. The hardest thing is, is actually just changing the habits and um, yeah. to simple things like waking up in the morning and not having a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. First thing in the morning, clean your tongue. Mm -hmm. right. Second thing you do in the morning is go drink a couple of glasses of water. Right. I think that somebody you know? said on a beautiful TED interview that it takes you 30 days, I think, to change your habits. So if you can just maintain it for that time, yes. then you probably will keep doing it. Yes. Yeah. Chances are you relapse. Yeah. Again, but, <laughs> in moments. But be, be, be gentle on yourself. Be kind on yourself. Don't judge yourself. Don't be angry at yourself because all the body self and the self wants truly is love it wants acceptance absolutely That's the four pillars um obviously we've got hydration detoxification nutrition and fitness and we talked about toxins residing in the fat mm -hmm. imagine if you didn't deal with the first three first and foremost hydration Okay, now let's just say you've got, you, you are overweight, you've got a lot of fat, you've got, and a lot of people have judgment on fat. Mm -hmm. I say you're lucky, lucky people. Because <laughs> they're protecting themselves. No, because they've got the most abundant form of energy. Oh, people yeah. like myself who've got it. no fat, right. if I want to build muscle, where am I going to get all my fat? I haven't got a red source of fat to build oh, okay, muscle. Right. If I've got fat, I can go exercise, I can build muscle, I can poof. But if you haven't got the fat, you uh -oh. No, 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 no. It, you've right. got to do it nutritionally and you've got to work, 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 work. Right. So if you've got fat, you've already got that one step above me. Okay. True. Well, you don't look that thin. Well, I'm not that thin, but I'd always, you know, you know, you know, male, I like to be bigger, stronger, faster, <laughs> better, phantom, goes through walks. Of course. So the, um, 
that, that level of fat. But if you're dehydrated and you start moving toxins in the system and the, your body is forced to remove toxins from your fat mm -hmm. and you haven't got the hydration to move it out, your breath, your perspiration, your urination and defecation, mm -hmm. that toxins is going to be reabsorbed into the bloodstream, yeah. go straight into the vital organs and cause us a little a fair bit of harm. Exactly. So hydration, guys, hydration, hydration, uno number one. You're going to look at anything in your life to re rebuild your health, look at hydration. We agree with that one. <laughs> detoxification after that. Let's just say we haven't got our hydration and we haven't detoxified our body. Mm -hmm. We haven't taken our, like our chelating or collating minerals, however you want. Like let's say selenium, for example, or zeolites, for example, mm -hmm. sodium bicarbonates, for example. Why do you think the ocean is surrounded in seawater? Because it's the alkaline. It's energy. It's energy. Energy. Put a um, pot of water on the, on the stove, guys, boil it, just water, grab a handful of salt, bring it to boil, bring a handful of salt, doof, what does it do? Boof! It enables, that's why I said, remember when you said negative charge? Yeah. I would like more like to say water, alkaline water enables the reception, mm -hmm. it enables to be received information. Oh. Your sound travels better in salted water, hence yeah. why a whale can sing how many kilometres we don't know, but they can hear sound echoes better in salt water. So it's that alkalinity again, your four alkaline buffers, your sodium, your magnesium, your calcium, your potassium. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, you can go a, a lot further onto those sodium, mag magnesiums and all that because they're all planetary. Everything's connected in the universe. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah. Like if ever, everyone could imagine like magnesium, the most efficient mineral that we have in our, in our diets, mm -hmm. is related to the sun. Mm -hmm. Imagine if the sun stopped shining. Mm -hmm. I think we wouldn't really wouldn't be around for Magnesium. <laughs> Hence green leafy veggies. What did grandma tell you to eat? Girl, eat your greens. Eat your greens, eat your greens, eat your greens, eat your greens. juicy greens. Get yourself a good juice of juicy greens. It's yeah, a, it is a big Definitely the, the easiest way of getting your greens. It's the easiest way and it only takes 10 minutes if you've got a good juicer. <laughs> the, um, the whole use of fitness on those levels, even if you're taking all the nutrition and you haven't got hydration to move the toxins out and keep the body hydrated, mm -hmm. you can't move the, the, the toxins out. So all the nourishment you take isn't going to be useful anyway. That's why in my, in my experience, it's always hydration, detoxification, nutrition. Fitness. Mm -hmm. All of that, those four pillars, right. what I call the four pillars, then enable the body to rest well, mm -hmm. sleep well. Yeah. Your body's feeling good. You can love well. Yeah. You can and embrace it can repair well. itself too. Repair, when it's given, because the body has an amazing capacity to repair itself. Yeah, it takes a lot of work to kill Which a human. Which is what we haven't been giving it the opportunity yes. to do. Well, we're not really programmed. If we look at the, the whole aspect of competition in this world, it's like you've got to be quicker, faster, better, and all this, whereas just look at yourself and do the best by yourself. I say that to my children all the time. Just do the best you can be. Lovely. You know, just be the best you can be. That's beautiful. Thank you, Brett. It's been great talking to it's you. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much for your time, and I hope it all goes well on the on sharing and distributing your knowledge because you're doing great work. Oh, Thanks, yeah. Casey. People like you, it's fantastic. Thank it's you. Pleasure. Thank you.